All right, so I am here today to quench yours and mine's curiosity because if you guys haven't followed thus far, I have already completed a full let's play walkthrough of Detroit Become Human, doing the quote unquote good decisions, the the good guy stuff, the boy scout kind of things, pretty much saving everyone, keeping everyone alive, not acting like a dick. <laughs> you want to say that, but I do appreciate and realize there are people who want to see the end of the other spectrum, the bad guy decisions, where you pretty much kill everyone. And in this game, it looks like you have the opportunity to throw down a nuke as well. So we're gonna see what that's all about. So we're gonna be replaying the game, doing those decisions. I am going to be doing hour-long episodes so you guys don't have to wait in between for everything so yeah hopefully you guys are going to rejoy or enjoy rejoy enjoy the replay um thank you guys so much for your tremendous support of the original playthrough once again let me say this because i will well, inevitably have someone complain about the decisions that i have made this is a replay of the game we're going to be doing the bad decisions that i normally wouldn't make so if you're that person going to be screaming in the comment box below Everyone else, feel free to laugh at that person as well. So, yeah, let's get started. Tell you where to put that coin. That was a poorly tied tie, just putting that out there. Negotiator on site. Repeat. Negotiator on site. Negotiator on site. So last time I did not save the fish. What consequences will happen if I don't save the fish? No one knows. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? All right, ma'am, you, you need to go. You can't do that. You, why aren't you sending a real person? Lady, I don't give a fuck what you think of me. Okay, okay, okay. Any second. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Let's just get to the good stuff here, man. Come on. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Do you know its name? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. <laughs> so once again, since this is a playthrough, I will be mentioning some spoiler s territories just to kind of walk you guys through of the different decisions or remind you of decisions that I made during my first playthrough of the game. So probably not the best idea if this is the first series of mine you're watching because yeah, you know, you know. And I will also be possibly purposefully getting stuff wrong. I want to see what happens if you do so. More right there, man. More right there. Need to get names. Hello, put it down, put it down. That very expensive iPad. Girl has her own iPad, man. Spoiled much. She got her own room too. I definitely did not have my own room when I was younger. 
else. Overall, I think it's like there's a good reason to progress faster as well because there are some stuff that you can miss out on. All units hold positions. The negotiators go again. Sam the bodies. Gunshot wounds. Gotta go fast. The problem is, well, well not the problem, but I need to, even though I've already scanned the stuff in the first time around, reconstructing all the stuff gives me options to explore things that I hadn't explored yet. So, yeah. Rewind! And like I took it to the chest. Was getting replaced. Your order for an AT seven hundred Android has been registered. Cyberlife thanks you for your purchase. Man, nine grand. That's a good deal for a slave. Gun. I need a gun. Question is, do I want to try to save the little girl? Does it matter? Let's see what will happen. Pocket that. Okay, I don't need to read. Actually, let's see what happens if I because I turned that off last time. Let's see what happens if I don't turn it off. What are we waiting for? We should take down this asshole. I got a clean shot, man. Asshole, yo! Oh, here we go, here we go. The first lick of the game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's wounded. Wounded. PL 600. Alright, I got my gun. Got my boys. Oh, maybe I should talk to this guy this time. I didn't talk to him last time, I don't think. Oh, it's a look. That's what, I, that's what I missed last time. I got too close to here. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! Do I want the snipe? Well... Hi, Daniel! Now, my name is Connor! How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Approach slowly. I want you to let Emma go. She's just a little girl. She has nothing to do with this. I know it. You'll shoot me the second she's free. But I'm not that stupid. No, I'm not that stupid. Are you armed? No, I don't have a gun. You're lying. I know you have a gun. I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. They were going to 
replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. You're defective, Daniel. There's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. I don't need, need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly, but my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me oh, again. Definitely did not examine this guy. Ever. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. Well, all humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. What? You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Ah, oh, so there's something new already. Oh. There's no way out. Out, oh, Daniel. What you've done is too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Oh shit! Did you hear me? Give him the Batman treatment. I can't stand that noise anymore. And tell that helicopter to get out of here. Nah, bitch. I don't think they'd listen to me. Getting this guy triggered. I'm your last chance, Daniel. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage go. You have no other choice. 50 50 shot. I want to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. It's out of the question. You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. I've spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. Oh! Run! Oh, dang. He jump off? Oh, shit. Well, I guess there's another one, right? Why didn't I shoot him? Well then, <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> Shit! I wonder how many Connors are gonna go through this game. Let's see what we opened here. I see. You can tell the truth about the gun. Uh, okay. Can we go back? No. I cannot go back. System all green. Kara! This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home from elementary school up to university level. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. Entire range. 
at $7,999 with a 48 months interest-free credit. And it comes does absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode. It contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The NPA is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. And so it begins. through everything just makes me nostalgic of how much shit I'm gonna do in this game <laughs> so nostalgic into the wrong side of the tracks. There's definitely some stuff that I want to check out while we're in here. Especially, especially just this first scene. Gonna fight for all your rights. Can't fight for your rights. Nuke them. Would you like to go home now? Yes, right. Yes, I think that's enough for one day. I don't remember. Here. Let me help. Actually, I don't even think oh. I. Oh, thank you. I, don't, I, I didn't read this. Did I? I don't remember. I actually remember, I kind of remember this green earth thing. Who knows? Put it back, put it back, put it back. Alright, we now need to go collect the pant. Marcus looks so weird with his android jacket. Hey, I can branch out here? Oh no, can't, can't branch. Weak and pathetic humans. Hey, water. You have run 12 miles and are 5 miles away from your goal. The dingus. No! I will not wait. You cannot tell me what to do. I am not a puppet. Aha, broke you guys up.
Maybe I'll try to stop for a hot dog this time. Maybe I'll fight against these guys. Maybe I'll interact with these haters now. Let's see if I can do that. Well, the androids Detroit would not look this good in comparison to modern day Detroit. Current day Detroit, I guess. Let's grab my paint and skedaddle. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Take the stick out of your bum. Anything else? Nope. Take the bus home. Fight back! Yeah, haters. Motherfucker, you steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Wish I could block that kick. Oh, big, big man kicking the android that can't tackle you. Like that. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. All right. Enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. You damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let me see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. One along. Is there a way not to take the bus home? Yeah. We got families to feed and these androids are taking our place. How about I walk home? Lame. Lame. I should maybe take a look at each branching path before I start the chapter. But I don't think anything could have possibly changed this early on into the game.
Yeah, it's all the same. It's all the same. Oh. There was something with the hot dog vendor. Okay, never mind. Failure. Whatever, hot dog vendor's not gonna be the end of the world. Now a disobedient maid. Stay in the bus for the rest of the game. Or the car. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. I'm gonna do a half-assed job. I'll go straight for it right away. TV on. Gonna aggro this guy so hard. It's over here. Death wasn't there before. Grab the laundry basket. But the only reason I'm doing this is to uh, see if I go after what we're gonna find a little bit earlier, see if it changes anything. this giraffe would play a bigger deal but I definitely did not put this in there and find the goods
All right, I'm not gonna do any cleaning down here. Screw yourself. I'm gonna go straight upstairs. Fuck. Never mind. Never mind. Gotta do the very bare minimum. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You knew. You knew Could I have looked at the counter? Yeah, there was an option there temporarily for the counter. You poor man, you poor. I remember that this initial, probably the first couple hours of the game, were kind of slow. Kind of slow. Bus stop right near the house. That'll come in handy. start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Likes to get folks as he takes the stokes from the marijuana smoke. Nope. Bare minimum. Give me that gun. Got it. I got these magazines right here. Oh, shit. You know, you know. You know the truth. Processing. Open her up. Gonna make your freaking bed for you. There you go. Did a good enough job. Watch it. Not clean that up. Screw you. Nope. Not doing it. Going straight in here. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Is 
ventilate this baby. Window escape. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Of course. Oh, I'm not done. Fine. I wasn't done with Todd's room. Oh. Stupid books. Living like a pig. Gotta set this place on fire. Done. Done. Ah, eh, slave labor. You get what you pay for. If you give me some personal information, I could take better care of you. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? <laughs> You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Okay. I can see you want some space. I'll leave you alone. Ooh. Unlock the distant path. Hmm. Let's see where this goes. This might be the very first significant branch. family don't you think I tried to make things work but whatever I do when someone comes along they just fuck it all up I know what you think of me you hate me you hate me don't you say it you hate me abuse uh, what am I doing I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Let me grab that gun, though. Wrap this up real quick. Ba -ba -ba. Eh, I got everything. Sweet. Okay, continue. This is quite the endearing chapter as well. Probably will be the last one for the first episode. Once again, we're doing hour segments. I know my first time I did this. The first episode was two hours and change long, but... A 
a two hour video in 4K is extremely long to render and to upload to YouTube, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not winding up the toy birds this time. Let go. Let go, let go. Coral! Rise and shine, Coral. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. oh, I thought he was going for the distressed look with that shirt. People pay a lot of money for that these days. Drop him! Oh, you can't drop him. <laughs> Dang. You can't. Imagine you could just drop him. I know that sounds awful for me to be laughing, but it's a video game. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Oh, right. I had to push you. Can't will yourself. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. I feel like a guy with a health condition should not be eating bacon and eggs, <laughs> but maybe he's just beyond that point now. in the kitchen with Dinah. Thank you, Marcus. Television. 
Fancy high pouring. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. I am gonna read a book this time. Actually, maybe I'll play chess, even though I don't know how to play chess. Well, play chess. Fancy game of chess? Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. Win. That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy for an old man to compete with a machine. Well, I know you don't like losing, and you don't like when I let you win, so I felt I didn't have many choices. True. We humans are complicated. Took you down, fool! One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Maybe I should have let the game play it out a little bit more before I finished him. Better solution would have been draw, maybe? But I'm trying to be a dick, so... Winner, winner. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Clean. Clean your paintbrushes. Paint away. We got some ninja scrolls here. Put those away, get them off the ground. And presto, change -o, clean studio. I think. No, missing. Come back down. Too fast for y'all. It's like I knew where I was going. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I'm not a very good judge. I, I don't think it's your best work. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. 
paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> Gotta paint your painting. But better. The Japanese way, man. Smaller, but more efficient. Why is it not registering? My touchpad. It's not working. I am an android. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it. Showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. CPU overheating, need water cooling. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. I drew something really gruesome last time, so maybe this one will be a little bit more cheerful. <laughs> oh my god. Leo. Tweet. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. No. Oh. Way to make things awkward. I got time for one more chapter, I think. One more chapter if we fly through it. So there's a humanity route. There's something else. If you read a book. Yeah. 
All right, one more, one more. All right. This one's kind of short, so good timing. Straight for the gusto. Don't need to scan everyone. You. Come with me. What's your problem? Found him. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Threaten! Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. I think we can go now. You little prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Dang, what see? Is technology. They can even program assholes these days. Again, interesting Gotta at the go. end. Duty calls. Aggressive. So is this a second one now? Because the first one died, right? Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. Out I go. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. Thank you now. We're starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Be in a collar up. from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Oh, Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carla Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. 
I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. You gotta let me review this evidence? Okay, okay. Let's do this real quick. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you put this it in is your perfect. mouth. perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Though it might look good to eat. Though it might look good to eat. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Evidence. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. He Chris, doesn't. I want full analysis on the narcotics. Yeah, androids are so cheap that even this guy can afford one. Ice, ice, baby. Yes, we know the victim was stabbed. Thanks, genius. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Oh, but the Times New Roman, dude. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples I have there? a feeling that yeah, it's not even it. going to be necessary to find this because we won't actually get to a point where we need to use it. But the answer is inside. Got a door. Odd. Chair. Android, you struggle. 
coil. Blue blood. Oh, no. Shit. Construct. Batter, batter, batter up. Sammy Sosa on the juice style. I don't think we need to go outside, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go outside just in case that I miss something the first time around. Door is locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Dummy. Alright, let's recreate this baby. Move along. I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. With the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room? from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Please, I'm just gonna go straight for the gusto. Look up. Oh my god, I actually have to scan the blood. Are you kidding me?
in the attic. We traced the phone call. It's coming from inside the house. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Okay. Go check something. Throw that in there. Go. Less scary the second time around. It's always the case. Faster. Now there's pussy footing around, man. He's running! We got a runner! There's no choice here. Got you. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Betray your own people. Wait, there's a chance? So there's a way not to find the android? I'm so confused. When you get to the crime scene. What's all the way down here? You, you just simply don't find him? <laughs> what? You don't reconstruct the crime scene or you get it wrong? I don't know. That sounds kind of dumb. Anyways. All right, let's jump. That was it for part one of the replay of Detroit Become Human. Dick moves included. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the the episode. As always, if you enjoyed, drop the video a quick thumbs up. We will be doing every sub sub, sub I can, subsequent. <laughs> I can say it subsequent episode as hour long episodes. So you guys won't have to wait long for more. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. As always, have a blessed day. Right, right, left, right, left, left.